And so finally you reach the pick. The number one thing that sticks out to me is a lack of um, racialized people, the representation that does not really exist on television. Researchers looked at hundreds of hours of kids' TV shows and found they are missing the mark on diversity. Here's what the data shows in Canada. The study sample reveals zero representation of characters with physical disabilities. Racial diversity is also lacking. When it came to human characters in kids' shows, 74% are white. On screen, only 35% of characters are female, a percentage that hasn't changed in 10 years. And behind the scenes, men dominate as creators, writers, and directors. There was also the issue of how gender is portrayed on screen. We saw that uh, females were twice as likely to use magic to solve their problems uh, compared to males, and males were more likely to use STEM skills, so science and math, um, as well as physical strength. Lack of representation in children's programming is why Big Bad Boo Studios got into the business a decade ago. We were a little bit ahead of our time, and now it feels like people are starting to look at numbers, look at statistics, and pay attention more. Based in Vancouver and New York, the company has a wide range of shows, from an unconventional princess with two dads, to the adventures of city kids in an apartment building. I ate everything on my plate and it was really delicious. Behind the scenes is a diverse team of creators, voice actors, and a gender-balanced writer's room. I wanted the writers to write for these characters from real experiences so that the episodes would resonate with kids. Yes. <laughs> Authors of the study say they're optimistic the TV industry is listening and the next decade will better reflect the world we live in. Tashana Reed, CBC News, Toronto.